The Patriot League Network on Stadium presents Boston University basketball today from the roof at the Case Center Gym in Boston. It's the Terriers against the Dartmouth College Big Green. Villarino finds Harper. He'll try a three. And the Terriers get an early three on the board as he shoots it over James Foy. First three of the game for either team. The BU lead is four. The kick out to Petcash. And he drills a three. The assist to Souk Matone down low. Rye will try and Travel. split the defenders. The Euro step, and it's called a layup for, <laughs> for Aaron Rye. This time, the Terriers trying to get the run out. Harper all the way down and score. You're playing this Dartmouth team that came off a stretch of four straight games with 11 or more threes in each of those four games. And right on cue, Jonas Harper. And I think that one might have gone glass from the corner. That's a big number for them. And with the lead back to double figures, Joe Jones figures he can keep Max Mahoney on the bench for now. Taurus Samuels, though, drills a triple. Souk Matone open for three. How about it? Second game in a row for Souk. He hit one at Binghamton last week. Shot clock at eight. Knight gets loose on the baseline. Ari Turner with the drive. Can't hit the runner, but Knight on the follow makes it a one-point game. Javante getting loose again and tipped in inside Max Mahoney and he'll get a chance for three. Lead back up to two possessions here at 52-46. And Walter White rattles home a big three. Jonas Harper keeps the ball moving. He still hasn't gotten a shot since he went after that, uh, you know, the injury. Jonas Harper's not gotten a look. Oh, great move by Alex Villarino as he split the defenders. And Alex is gonna get a chance for three at the other end. Hey. Coming down the stretch, they have had trouble closing these games out. We'll see what happens today, and that'll help. Jonas Harper drives to score, and he'll go to the line. Well, Foy will try the three this time and hit it, and that's why you don't let a three-point shooter shoot. After the timeout, McCoy makes it a two-point game. Now will Dartmouth go for the tie, or maybe if they get an open look at a three, will they go for the win? Back over to Chris Knight, he's got to hurry, and it doesn't count anyway. I'm not sure if he got that shot off in time, but it doesn't matter, Knight missed it, and the Terriers hold on with a deep sigh of relief and end their five-game losing streak. Well, the roof will close in 2019 for the Terriers as this part of the year comes to an end, at least in the home schedule, with a win. As BU beats Dartmouth 78-76, Joined now by assistant coach Mike Quinn. It's never easy at home or on the road to get these wins, is it? No, it's not. The good teams we play against. The, the Dartmouth was well prepared and they executed down the stretch. You know, we, we let them hang around by missing a couple free throws, but then we made some big ones and got to stop that counted there at the last one. Certainly after six games on the road, you had to be happy with the offensive execution. Shot 58% from the field, five players in double figures for the first time since February of last year. Good things were happening on that side. Yeah, absolutely. I thought we did a really good job of sharing the ball today. Um, and guys were confident. They played aggressive. The, the ball started falling at home for us, which is what you expect or what you hope. Uh, um, and we carried that throughout the game. So hopefully we can keep that momentum going when we get back on the road here. After a six game road trip to be able to kind of also have a few days off, a week in between games, how kind of important was that for this team to reset? I think really important. I think one, it gets your body, you're able to get your body back, get some guys feeling good again, but uh, also gets us some time to really focus on us and focus on what we want to get better at and how we want to execute versus just the next game, the next game. It allows us, and I thought that showed today, but we, we did some really good things that we focused on this week. Say goodbye to the roof till 2020. We'll see you next weekend at UMass Lowell. Looking forward to it.